As a leader, one of the most important skills that you need to have is your ability to be able to lead other people through change. In this VUCA world we live in, this volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world we live in, it's absolutely crucial that we have the ability not only to be able to make changes ourselves, not only to be able to handle changes ourselves, but also to be able to lead our teams through the transformation that they may well experience. In things like organizational reviews or any turbulent time in an organization's life, it's vital that you as a leader develop the skills and abilities to be able to help people to not only manage change, not only handle change, but to be able to embrace change. In this video, I wanna share with you the five things that you can do to be able to best influence others and lead others through the changes that they're facing. So first, we wanna look at the why of the change. The why, we talk like Simon Sinek talks about starting with why. Well, the why of the change is why this change needs to happen. And it's really vital for you, number one, to know clearly the why yourself. And then number two, to be able to articulate that to your team in a very, very precise way. The more you understand the why yourself, the more easy it'll be for you to articulate and communicate it to them. But understanding the why is understanding the motivation. And that is something that will allow you to feel able to tackle whatever challenges may be faced along the change journey. But also by presenting that to your team, it helps empower them to be able to handle whatever challenges because they're motivated and determined to be able to use whatever resources they need in order for them to handle and navigate their way through this changing environment. The second thing that will help you to be able to lead other people through change is being clear about exactly what's involved. What are the actions they need to take? What are the specific skills they might need, the resources they might need? What are all of the things that will help them to make the changes themselves? The more clear you are of exactly what the change will look like, and the more easy it is for you to clearly explain that to others, the more likely you will be to successfully lead them through these changes. The third thing that will help you to be more effective at leading people through change is identifying the obstacles. That is, what are the challenges to change? What are the things that might stop them from changing? What are the hard points? And it's important for you not just as a leader to make these assumptions, but also to ask them, what are the things that they're not looking forward to? What are the things that they think will be particularly difficult or challenging? The more you identify the challenges that will stop them from handling change successfully, the easier it'll be for you to be able to provide them with the solutions to those challenges. So it's vitally important that you understand and you help them understand the obstacles and have an action plan of what they're going to do when they face those obstacles to ensure that they're able to make those changes successfully. The next thing you wanna do is identify the impact of change. Now this is similar to the why because the why is the, the motivation, the reason why they want to achieve it is hopefully being connected to what the change will allow them to do. But the impact of the change is something you need to spell out for them to make sure that you're clear, how will this change the everyday business, the BAU, the business as usual in the organization? What is the impact it's going to have? And you need to ensure that everybody on the team is clear about exactly what it's gonna look like once this change occurs. The more clear they are about the new BAU, the business as usual, as a result of this change, the more clear they are of the impact that this change will make, the more confident they'll be when the change happens so that they'll be able to maintain this change moving forward. So be very clear about the impact. And then the last part is their emotional response to change. How do you expect they're going to respond to these changes? And what can you do to mitigate the negative response they might have and to maximize the positive response they might have? In other words, how can you make them feel better about the change? What way of phrasing can you use to make them more likely to see this as something positive? How can you minimize the negative impact that this change might have on their career? How can you maximize how excited they are about making these changes? When you think about their emotional response, that's going to ensure that you're empowering them to be able to handle whatever comes their way. So in a nutshell, for you to be able to lead other people successfully through change, you need to clearly know and to be able to articulate your why. You need to understand what are the specific changes that they need to make moving forward and identify what are the obstacles and the challenges that might impede their ability to change and what are the things that they need to do to overcome those challenges. In fact, what are the things that you all need to do to overcome those challenges? What is the impact of the change on their everyday life, getting them to 
be aware of that and to prepare for that as well. And then finally, noticing and preparing for their emotional response to change and how you can make them feel better about making the change moving forward. The more you do this, the more skilled you'll be at leading other people through change to making the kind of changes they need in their career. So I really hope you found this useful. For lots more videos, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. For now, I'm Owen Fitzpatrick. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.